Located just a few meters away from the Manila Cathedral and Palacio del Gobernador, Fort Santiago is one of the most significant historical sites in Manila. Join me in discovering Fort Santiago, a 400-year-old site that has stood as a witness to major milestones in Philippine history. We begin at Plaza Moriones, this open expansive space that greets visitors upon entry at the fort. Here are numerous structures, including the Balwaratilio de San Francisco Javier. It served as one of the walled city's seafront defenses and storage chambers in the Spanish colonial era. During the Second World War, it was turned into a prison cell by the Japanese military. Today, it houses the Intramuros Visitor Center and several shops. This is a reducto, an independent structure outside the walls that serves as the first line of defense. It also functioned as a storage for ammunition and food supply. Today, it houses the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We return to Plaza Moriones, one of the many plazas or open spaces in Intramuros. Named after the Spanish Governor General Domingo Moriones, it was once an open ground for military drills, parades, and ceremonies until its destruction in the 1863 earthquake. The U.S. Army then took over and used it as a barracks. Now, it's an open space where events and activities in Intramuros are held. Across the plaza is the Almacenes Reales, or Royal Warehouses. This was a storehouse for goods unloaded by ships at the river gate during the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade. The unreinforced stone arches, which originally supported the second floor, remain intact. A testament to the durability and timelessness of traditional architecture. Then in this area remains the soldiers' barracks. During the Japanese occupation, former Philippine President Elpidio Quirino was imprisoned here for 16 days. This space is also used as an exhibit area by the Intramuros administration. This brass plaque contains a roll of honor and the list of survivors of Filipinos incarcerated inside Fort Santiago during World War II. This man-made canal was restored in the 1980s and connects the Pasig River to Manila Bay. The fort's entrance is guarded by two ramparts, the Baluarte de San Miguel on the left and the Medio Baluarte de San Francisco on the right. These ramparts were built in the 1600s to fortify the defenses of Fort Santiago from the river and the land. Here stands the main gate to Fort Santiago. The main gate is decorated by a wood relief carving of Spain's patron saint, Santiago Matamoros, as well as the coat of arms of the former kingdoms of Castile and Leon. Castile is represented by the castle, while the lion represents the kingdom of Leon. This was a former military headquarters of four successive colonial empires in the Far East. The pre-colonial history of Manila can also be traced in this section of Intramuros where the kingdom of Raja Sulaiman was once located. At the center of the fort proper is Plaza de Armas. It derived its name from the use of the area to stock arms and rifles when not in use. Similar to Plaza Moriones, this was also where the soldiers marched around for their daily drills. This was a two-story adobe building which housed the Spanish artillery companies. Destroyed during the Battle of Manila, this was renovated into an open-air theater for the use of the Philippine Educational Theater Association, or PETA. The main room of the soldier school was converted into a chapel cell for Jose Rizal, who was transferred here after 56 days of imprisonment at the soldiers' barracks. According to the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, it was here where Jose Rizal married Josephine Bracken.
this passageway, the Postigo de la Nuestra Señora de Soledad was the main access of Fort Santiago's occupants to the Pasig River. The promenade was rehabilitated by the Intramuros administration and is now a riverside park. Here stands the Rizal Shrine. This place was the former soldiers' barracks which had a pantry and food storage before it was used as a cell for Jose Rizal. Today, Rizal Shrine or Miseo ni Jose Rizal pays tribute to the life work of the country's national hero through its theme settings and relics. Now, we enter the dungeons. These used to be gunpowder magazines before being converted into prison cells. After the Battle of Manila in 1945, 600 decomposing bodies of prisoners were found here. The remains were subsequently buried en masse on an open ground nearby and is marked with a white marble cross. This site used to be the Casa de Castellano, the residence of the fourth commander. This was built in the 16th century to protect the entrance from the Pasig River. The ground floor of the Baluarte de Santa Barbara has recently been converted to an educational facility known as the I Make History Lego Education Center. Falsa Braga means false wall. This deceived the enemy and protected the fort from heavy bombardment. From a military side that bore witness to Manila's multi-layered and at times tumultuous past, Fort Santiago is today a national shrine that welcomes visitors to learn and relive our people's journey on to becoming this nation called the Philippines.